to me. And um, even though I have this you know, long lasting series, I, each, each book has a new hero and heroine. So it's a, 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 the focus remains on, each, with each book on a different couple. And that helps to keep it fresh. Also, uh, to keep the world, my vampire world, uh, you know, fresh and, and uh, to make each story different. Because I, you know, I had this fear of writing the same story over and over. Uh, I want each story to be different. Uh, I've, I've introduced uh, shifters, so I've had a, a werewolf hero and a werepanther hero, Carlos from Brazil. And, um, <laughs> and, and in November, the next one come out, Howard the Werebear. He's uh, a Kodiak grizzly bear from Alaska. So uh, you, you just keep expanding the world and to keep it interesting. The cool thing about being a writer is you get to make stuff up. Um, and I've been a vampire fan since I was so small. Um, I apparently once pointed to the cross on the wall in my church and said, that keeps the vampires out and horrified my parents in front of the pastor. But anyway, um, but it's true it's science. <laughs> about that mythology and keep it. And anything I didn't like, I didn't have to because until the real vampire stands up and says, you've got it wrong, it's anyone's game. Yeah. Um, so for me, that's what kept it fun and fresh because I could finally change things about this creature that had always annoyed me. Um, now you do have to stick to those rules once you make them, but making them was so much fun, it was free. And I think when you really enjoy what you're doing, that's what can also keep it fresh for the reader. There's nothing new under the sun. Uh, for anyone who thinks they want to wait until they have a really original idea to write about, you're going to wait a long time. Um, but if you love it, and if you put your slant on it, that's where the originality comes in. Yeah. 